What's going on guys? It's Autotalk Apple 96 here today. And today guys, the release of OSX Lion came out, 10.7 Lion. Uh, so it came out a few hours ago, two hours ago, so I downloaded it from the Mac App Store and uh, came pretty quick as the fiber app downloaded pretty good. And it's a 4.5 or 4.49 gig download from the Mac App Store. Anyway, um, I downloaded it and I'm going to show you guys today how to do a complete clean install of Mac OS X Lion. So, when you download it from the Mac App Store, all the Mac App Store does is download it and then it just installs an upgrade on your computer, which it just installs all, over all, the, all the old files on your computer. So, if you do a clean install, it erases your hard drive and installs it a new installation again. But, Apple doesn't like necessarily make it easy for you to do this they don't really want people to do it but you can do it it's not illegal but you can do it very easily all you need is um just a basic dvd 4.7 gig uh dvd and a dvd burner in your computer so you just start off by you can see down here i have the uh install mac os x lion there <laughs> But I've already burned my disk, so I'm not going to do it again, but I'll just show you guys how it's done. So, you just go into uh, Finder, Applications, and go scroll down to the corner where you see Install Mac OS X Lion. Right-click on that and click Show Package Continents. Um, Continents. Shared Support Folder right here. And there's the Install ESD dip DMG. So that's the Lion DMG install DMG. So what you're going to do is just copy that, right click on it and click copy, and just paste it out on your um, uh, desktop. So that may take, I don't know, it's a 3.7 gig file, but I'm not going to do that because I already have it done. But So I'll just, cl I'll just stop that close these out but once that's done it's copying there you should have a file there just go into applications utilities and disk utility so now this is when you're going to insert um, a blank disk so right here you should see your blank disk you'll just click on it and click burn and this menu so you'll just go to desktop or whatever you copy that uh, DMG to and see mine's not here because it's I deleted it already but you should click just top and that DMG should be here after you copied it so just highlight it right down here and click burn and that will burn the disk and go ahead and burn everything up for you so now we can just quit uh, disk utility and I'll slide the mouse out of the way here and I'm going to insert my line disk that I already burned so I just burned this about half an hour ago so not too much work So again, this is a clean installation, so you have to make sure you have everything backed up. All your iTunes, music, all your iPhone libraries, your videos, everything. It's just going to be like buying a new computer, you're not going to have anything left on it. So, everything you have is going to be deleted. So there you can see it pops up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to restart the computer. So say goodbye to Snow Leopard. Now, Snow Leopard's gone. So. Right now, it's hold down the option key. So right now, start holding down the option key, or is known as the alt key. So hold down the option key. It's right beside the command key until this window pops up. And you'll see I have Macintosh HD, which is what everyone should have, and Windows, which is probably some of you will have. I have Windows installed in here, too. And that's another thing. When you install this reinstall, your Windows partition, if you have Boot Camp on here, if you have Windows XP or Windows 7 or something, what is this stuff? It's all deleted. You can't keep it. So that's gone. You'll have to install that again. So just this arrow over here to Mac OS my Mac OS X Lion Disk and click enter. And just take a second. There. So it's gonna look like it's just rebooting your computer. It's it's just gonna look like it's booting up. But instead of thirty five or forty seconds to boot up, it's probably gonna take about two minutes here. So I'll just pause the uh, camera and I'll come back when it's done booting up. 
Well guys, we're uh, just booting up here into the installer. You can see it already looks different. They got a bit of a new look here. Even when it's booting up, the Apple symbol looks kind of 3D there on the boot up now. Takes a little while, but it's well worth it. For twenty nine ninety nine, I think that's quite amazing. You'd probably pay one hundred and twenty nine bucks to buy a Windows Seven disc of Windows Seven Home Basic. Probably cost you yeah, one hundred and twenty nine bucks. So for twenty nine bucks, it's twenty nine ninety nine on the App Store. It's pretty good. So um, what we're gonna set up here is we're gonna go up to. Uh, Disk or okay, see it even gives you before we used to have to go up here, but now it already says disk utility. Okay, guys, um, disk utility had just kind of froze up on me there, so I just quit disk utility, went back into it. So just highlight your main 160 gigabyte hard drive, whatever you have, go over here to the erase, zoom in a bit there for you. Make sure you select Mac OS X Journal, Extended Journal, and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Macintosh um, HD again. And then just click uh, down here, click Erase. Uh, erase. You can see down here it's just erasing your old partitions. Okay, so now it's all freshly erased. So you can go up here and just click Quit Disk Utility. Reinstall Mac OS X and click Continue. Continue. Down here, continue. So there's the license agreements, so we're just going to agree to the license agreements, and agree up here, uh, so that you can see, this is how you tell if you properly erased your hard drive or not, um, right here it says 159.7 uh, gigs total, so that's the size of my hard drive, and it says 159.4 available, so you should see that your total space, your available space should be almost just as much as your total space, and then you'll know that um, it's erased. So now we'll just zoom out, go down here, highlight it in blue, and click install. Install. There we go. So you can see there's our there's just a few little bugs in the installer. So it says downloading additional components. Your computer will restart automatically. So it's downloading all the stuff you need for you. It's got about 22 minutes and remaining. So I'll uh, check back when this is finished up. Okay, guys, peace. So guys, it's um, been four, three seconds or pause three seconds um, of downloading your additional components. So you can see there's some things have changed. The uh, bar there looks a little different texture than it did before but it's all good been here yeah it's booting it back up so now it's installing so now it says installing mac os x on the disk macintosh hd time remaining about 20 minutes so it'll probably take 20 to 25 minutes so i'll be back when this is all set up and done okay well guys, I'm back. Um, it's been about 15 minutes, um, and it's finally finished the installation of Lion. So we're back to the setup windows here. So as we're gonna do, here I'll zoom in for you. So we're gonna select our uh, country, which is either I'm in Canada, if you're in the United States, choose the United States, Ireland, or you can check off Show All and shows all the countries in the world. 
and you can tell right away there that the invert scrolling is in play, but it's very easy to bypass that. So let's choose Canada. Uh, continue. Canadian English. Continue. Do your Wi-Fi, so you can choose your Wi-Fi. There's my fiber optic. So you just do that and type in your password, which is... Where did I put my password? Uh, let's grab that here. My iPod. So it's good. There we go. Okay, continue. go so it's uh, configuring your computer now you can see there how do you want to transfer information from time machine don't transfer now um, if you want you can from time machine or other disk or from Windows PC or another Mac I was gonna go transfer don't transfer now and my Apple ID um, um, so it's just showing you some of this stuff here finishing up Saying so in Mac, Mac OS X line, you can easily interact with your content using multi-touch gestures. To scroll, place your pointer over the content and slide, slide uh, one finger down, left, and scroll bars. So that's basically it, guys. There's your installation of Orion. So after this, I think it just boots into your desktop. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.